I am going to now do uh, content types, uh, creating regular content types, add a category field, add a tagging field. Let's go ahead and talk about creating new content types. Let's just say I wanted to create, a, and I apologize if you've already seen my examples before, but I like movies. So, <laughs> so if I was going to create imdb.com into the uh, system, and I wanted to, you know, take a look at a movie. Uh, let's do the Godzilla here, King of Monsters. And I wanted to create a page that would handle this type of content, movies, titles, uh, URL titles, so I can click on it and it would go to, um, or if I wanted to create a taxonomy category, so I can click on action or adventure or fantasy, and that one word label will deliver me to a new dynamic page that's pulling things like that. I'd have a text area here. I'd have related content that are directors, actors, and stars. So how would we quickly create imdb.com and .cms, at least, you know, a page like this handling a movie content type? Well, this is where I would go to my content types under types and tags. And I'm going to create a regular content type, right? So I just click over here and then I choose which type of content type or which kind of base type that I want to use to create a new content type. So I'm going to add a new regular content content type called movies, right? And then I would pick my workflow and I don't have a specific movies workflow yet, although I could create one. I don't have any specific published date fields or anything like that. Uh, sorry, clicked away there. Uh, movies, and I'm just going to create it, okay? And I'm also going to open up a little trick here. I want to open up this in another tab so that I can also create categories here. All right, but first, uh, the first thing I would need would be a text field, which would be the title of my movie. So I want a title. I want to be able to search. I want it to show in the dropdown on, in the uh, list whenever I search on the back end. And maybe I would even make the movie titles unique. We can see how uh, they're putting 2019 as part of the, the title so that that way the URLs can be unique and the names of every movie can be unique to them, even if on remakes, right? Which makes sense. So actually, I'll put that whole thing in later on this content type. I would also drag a binary and maybe call that poster. And then maybe a text area, right? And I will call this description. and make it required. I don't know about use searchable. And let's just say that I don't like this layout. Maybe I want my movie poster over to the right. So I can add a row. Maybe I want it to be two columns. So I can actually drag my title, my description here, put my poster over here, and then I delete that. So you can play around with the layout as you create things. Then maybe I want a category field to show the movie category as well, but I don't have a category. So that's why I right clicked and I did a new tab here because I'm going to create a new category in my other tab without actually leaving my content type on the other tab. So I'm going to add one called genre, a new category. Right. And I'll click save. And now if I click inside of genre that I just created, I can do a couple of different things. I can keep adding manually one by one, or I can import a CSV list. So that's what I'm going to do right now. Okay. And here's got my movie uh, genre CSV. And you can either, whenever you import a CSV file, you can uh, replace the current uh, categories that are already here, which that's what I'm going to do. I don't even have any. Or you could add or edit, and which by key 
if you had matching key, it would just update the rest of the properties by matching key. Right. So I'm just going to replace that adds 26 different new categories. And if, if you looked at my CSV, it just has name and then a list of names, key, a list of keys, variable, a list, list of variable names, and sort order, a list of numbers. That's it. Nothing, nothing fancy. So I've just imported this category list underneath the genre uh, category. I'll even go to sci-fi and I will import a subset. Here's my sci-fi subset. I'll import that and then here's all my little sci-fi subsets that I once saw on imdb.com under their categories. So now I can, now that I have a category I can use using the category manager, I can now add a new category. Let's say I want it right here. And then I can choose that new category called genre. I don't see any reason to call it anything else. Maybe I'll call it movie genre. Make it user searchable. Required probably. And now I've got that. And let's just go ahead and add um, Godzilla in here. So then I would go from content types to content, the content search manager, and I would add a new movie. You can see it automatically, based upon whatever you were currently working on as a content type, it'll automatically pre-select that you know, movie's content type. I add new content in the system, and now I can add my you know, Godzilla King of Monsters. I can go ahead and get to my description. I can paste that description in here. Then based upon action, adventure, fantasy categories, I can go ahead and click here. And all you have to do is click on the name of the category, action, adventure. I don't see, fan. well, there, there's fantasy, I guess. But you could search for like sci-fi or something like that. Uh, and search it'll find sci-fi and then it, it, let's just say I wanted to label it sci-fi and then I wanted to actually dig down under this is the subset that I imported as well and then I could apply you know whatever subset of sci-fi right if I didn't if this isn't actually you know if I made mistakes I can just click on it here or click on it here and remove those uh, categories as well then I'm going to choose my poster so I'm going to just uh, right click and Save image as, just save it right on my desktop. Call it Godzilla. And then go back to my poster field, choose my desktop and Godzilla and upload my poster, right? So now I've got my first piece of content using that brand new content type into the system. Um, now, let's just say that um, what if I didn't have here under my category genre everything that a user might want to search for? Maybe I want to add for Godzilla the historical, you know, what country it's from. Maybe I want to put Japan or maybe I want to put um, monsters or, you know, I want to put some other tags uh, by which people might search on the front end for this content. And the webmaster didn't think of that whenever they put in movie genres. So then we would add an ad hoc tagging field. So we go back and go to content types, open up movies, and then I would grab the tag field, maybe put that right underneath movie genre, and I'll just call it tag, tags. User searchable, not necessarily required. And then what if also I wanted to relate this movie's content type to actors or actresses? Now, there might be multiple relationships here in a real implementation, but um, right now I'm just going to go to content types. I'm going to create a new content type called um, cast. Right, and then I'm just going to put first name and last name, and that's the only thing I'm going to do. Sure. And text. Okay, so just got a first name and last name as a cast member, right? Keeping it very, very simple for right now. 
Then I go back to my content type, my movie's content type, and I want to set up a relationship between the movie's content type and the cast content type. So I'm going to add a relationships field here. And maybe what I'll do, maybe I'll add another row here, make it a one column, and I'll put the, I don't know what this is going to look like, but I'll put it there, and I would call um, cast. Cast members or something like that. And then I'm going to create a new relationship between two content types. And I'm going to select cast that I just added in the system. And we would want to keep this a many-to-many -many relationship because each cast member can be many movies. Each movie can have many cast members. So definitely not a one-to-many. That would be a big mistake, right? <laughs> that actor's career would be over real fast. So I want to make it use a searchable. Not necessarily required because maybe I'd populate a lot of movies into the system before actor to, actors had even been selected. So let's see what this looks like. And now go back to our movies. Godzilla, King of Monsters. So now he's got a cast members relationship underneath here. He's got tags. So I want to put monsters into the system. And I can see I only have money market because <laughs> this was a financial website, right? So monsters... Japan. And now I can add my own ad hoc tags just by putting a comma afterwards and I can keep going as much as I want. I can lock for editing, save and publish. And then if I go to add any new um, movie into the system, if I start typing NON for monsters, then you can see it instantly shows up the next time you go to add a new piece of content or edit another piece of content as well as Japan. If I just type JAP um, here, it automatically pipes up the second you start typing the first three letters, right? Um, so that's the tag field and if I wanted to come over here to the category manager, I can obviously, you know, add uh, permission, go to the properties of any one of those categories. And if I go to the tag manager, I show my global tags. Uh, I can also look and see Japan or MON, you know, monsters. And I can step inside that tag and I could edit or change that tag as well. So the tag manager, category manager. Now, what about those relationships? Well, I go back to my movie content type, and then after we uh, finish the coverage of relationships, I'm going to open it up for questions. So I can either relate a new cast member, which I don't have any cast members at this time, or I could relate an existing one, right? But it doesn't make much sense to relate an existing because I don't have any. So if I look at King of Monsters, Michael Dougherty, and, uh, you know, he's writer, director, but that's okay. He can, we can consider him a cast member as well. And so now I'm going to relate new. And it says, hey, you, you should save your current um, content. If you haven't, then nothing will be saved. And that's fine. And put in my little Dougherty in the system. And I want to save and publish him as a cast member. And then I can just go back to Godzilla and there he is automatically related, right? Or I could go into the cast members, all right? And I'm going to add a few, uh, at least one new cast member. So we're going to do Charles Dance. And you noticed from the cast members, there is no relationship to movies yet, right? There's no relationships field. So uh, relationships are one-sided these days, you know, with the latest .cms release. So now I can um, refresh here my, well, let's go to movies, open up this. And now I've got this one. I can click relate. And then I can filter and search by the related content type, or I could just click the one or more and then relate. And now I've got, you know, Charles and Michael both related, right? 
Now, how can I also do this from the other side? Uh, first, I'm going to save and publish that relationship. And then we're going to have questions and a little 10 minute break. Okay. So uh, I already did the relationship here from movies to cast members. Now I'm going to add a relationship here under cast, add a relationships field. Now this time I'm going to choose an existing relationship, right? And I'll call this uh, movies. related movie and I'll make it use a searchable and I'm going to select the relationship that already exists that way it's truly two-sided now and then I'm going to select this automatically generated movies to cast members many to many relationship that I already created by creating the other field now the two fields are kind of married so no matter what I relate here will be shown on the other content type that you know vice versa so now if I go back to Charles Dance, I can see that related movie, the movie he's related to. Or if I go to Michael Dougherty, you know, I can see them there as well. So then I could um, add, so let's see someone else, Zach Shields. And I can add, and then relate to an existing movie, right? And then save and publish. Zach Shields, and now whenever I go to my movies and I open up, and then I see Zach Shields here as well. And I can also, whenever I'm pulling by relationship, I can just drag around if I wanna, you know, However, I want to uh, drag around that uh, field. I can go ahead and drag around those actors and actresses to list in the order that I wish. And I just lock for editing and I save and publish. Okay. All right. That is categorization, tags, and relationships on content types. I can also search and find out which movies that uh, Michael or Zach or, you know, I could have made that a full name field, um, are, are actually in. So I can click any of these actors and actresses. All of them are related to Godzilla. So if I am, um, you know, I could add others in the system. And then if I go to um, cast members, I could also search by the related movie and I can just start typing, you know, G-O-D, you know. All right, so then nothing shows up. Um, and then if I click, then it'll filter out the actors or actresses as well. Right.